We're going to start out tonight in Texas, and we'll talk with Larry. Hey, Larry, what do you got for us tonight? Yes, sir. Uh, I'd just like to hear your, uh, I, it appears to be very, it was John fourteen twenty seven. Mm-hmm. Jesus says, my peace I give you, not as the world gives, just show me the contrast that he's making. Yes, okay. Well, I mean, I think the the peace that the world gives you is a vacation from some circumstances every once in a while. We take vacations, right? Uh, Think about your last vacation. Did you get a chance to go to the beach or maybe you had a staycation where you just stayed home and took it easy? Uh, That's a reprieve, and that kind of peace is readily available on planet Earth. You're going through a lot, you have some heavy circumstances, and then you say, you know what, I need a day off, or I'm going to take my time off now, I'm going to get in the car and drive up into the mountains, or go to the coast, or whatever it is. I mean, we're used to these vacations, and that brings a sense of peace, at least sometimes it does, Uh, not always. Sometimes you come home from your vacation and you're more exhausted than when you started. But my point is this, all of that is circumstantial. It's all based on uh, consequences of choices that you made. Uh, You're stressed out, and so you change your geography. You're stressed out, and so maybe you change your job or you switch schools. You're stressed out, so maybe you, you change your marriage. You get a divorce and find somebody new. And you're thinking, well, if my circumstances change, I will finally have peace. Well, of course, there's nothing wrong with a changed circumstance every once in a while, and God certainly uses all of that at times. But what Jesus is talking about here is a peace that is not connected with our outside circumstances. He's talking about his peace, my peace I give to you. And that means it's going to work in the midst of everything. It's going to work when things are good, but it's also going to work when things are pretty tumultuous on the outside. He's not talking about easy circumstances. He's talking about himself. He is the Prince of Peace, and uh, he is our peace. So I'll have you notice the health, wealth, and prosperity type Gospels. Do you see what they're offering They're offering peace like the world has. In other words, uh, their idea, their selling point is God wants you healthy. God wants you wealthy. God wants you to never have a chest cold or never have to suffer through cancer. If you would just believe hard enough in this message that we're teaching up front, then you will have perfect health and perfect wealth because that's the gospel. You see how they sell it? They're selling it. Uh, because that is what the world craves. Everybody's trying to have perfect health and perfect wealth. Why is it that the lotteries are so high right now? People are pouring money in to try to score big, and the amount just keeps going up and up and up, and that's how the world uh, spells success and peace and joy. If I just had enough money and if I just had better health, then everything would be A-OK. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't want to be sick. I'd rather be healthy than be sick. And so you look at a circumstance like that, and that's a no-brainer. But my point is, uh, the Apostle Paul was in jail. I mean, when he wrote Philippians, he was in prison. And he talked about Jesus Christ being the secret of contentment in all of his circumstances. He said, whether I have little or I have plenty, he says, I've learned this secret. And so I think that's what Jesus is talking about here when he says, my peace I give you, not as the world gives. My peace I leave you. He's talking about himself. He's talking about his presence. He's talking about him as the counselor and the comforter and the guide into all truth. So let's put it this way. I mean, that health wealth gospel, you know, the prosperity gospel, it says you need more money, more money, and you'll be happy. You know what the social gospel says? It says the opposite. It says you need less money. Boy, if you'd just be more sacrificial, if you'd just give up all your money, then you'd be truly happy. You'd be truly spiritual. 
So the prosperity gospel says you need more money. The social gospel says you need less money. And the true gospel says Jesus is your contentment, whether you have little or plenty. And that is the peace that Jesus Christ is offering here. He is offering himself. So I hope that encourages you tonight, Larry. Uh, we'll put you back on and see. Does that help, my friend? Does that uh, make sense of it? That's right on, brother, and God bless you. All right. Well, Larry, thanks for your call. I love the Gospel of John. That 14th chapter is pretty powerful. Uh, you call us back anytime. Great to hear from you.